Hello, Stamping Friends. This is Jenny from Celebrate the Journey. It's Monday, um, June 10th, and the time for a Facebook Live. You know, um, I'm really distracted today. I have too many projects going on, so I wanted to go with something simple, and I thought this would be fun to do. Uh, you know bundles are on sale for an extra 10% off, so that means um, if you were to buy them separately or not, I, you wouldn't get the 10%. But if you buy it as a bundle, you get the 10% plus an extra 10%. So it ends up being 20% off. Um, and this one is one of the ones that qualifies for that. It is called Fluffiest Friends. And so currently it's on sale for the month of June for $48. But what I like about this particular stamp set, well, I think the little critters are awfully cute, but there's no sentiments. So you can make this match any uh, occasion that you want. So like birthday, Valentine's Day, um, this could be a baby, get well, happy birthday, and then there's coordinating dies that cut out those. And there's some grass and stuff in there, I think, too. Little extra dies that cut out elements that you might want to use. We're going to use this cute little gerbil, I think. He's either a gerbil or a hamster. I'm not sure. And we're, and we're, going, to, we're going to pair this with this stamp set, Sending Love. Now, so we're going to use the dies and stamps, the sentiment, sending a little love from me to you, and um, coordinate these two. This one is not 10% off because it was a bundle last year, and bundles only last one calendar year. So, so let's get started. I think we'll do our little gerbil. We have some pieces of scrap here. And uh, along with being pretty quick and cute, this does not use a lot of supplies. So we're just going to use some memento black to cut our little gerbil, our stamping. I'm not sure what's bigger, the gerbil or the hamsters. I really know almost nothing about <laughs> these little rodents. Now we're going to use light, smoky slate to color him. It's pretty quick. You know, we're not going to do a bunch of shading or anything. And of course you could... If you wanted to spend a lot of time on coloring, you could. And so I said, um, I've been distracted. I've got projects going for classes. This weekend I went on a quilt store hop, so I've got fabric to get taken care of, and and I'm reading a book. So, you know, it's hard for me to decide which thing to do. I think we're a little overscheduled here. I love to read um, and it can kind of get me distracted. So I'm not going to worry about his feet because they're going to be hidden. His little paws. And we're going to color the balloon with bubble bath. And of course this balloon, this card can be done in any colors that you prefer. That's what's kind of fun about it. So, 
I'll probably do a little shading there. Now we'll get the die. Cut him out. Run that through the cut and emboss machine. Of course, I think we need to put some Wink of Stella on the balloon, give it a little shine. And we can put that to the side now for the next part of our card. Now, in the um, Sending Love dies is this die that cuts out envelopes. Little itty bitty envelopes. So I went ahead and picked three bright colors that I liked and cut them out and we're going to assemble our envelopes and so they've got the crease lines but it does help to use your bone folder to get a de nice definition of those crease lines I really, if this is, um, cardstock's a little thick. If you die cut these envelopes with DSP, I think you'd get a much, it would be much easier to fold it. But it's still not very hard. Okay, we'll do, the, that was Daffodil Delight. This is Petunia Pop. Apparently, this color is very popular because a lot of the components, I think the ribbon is on back order, maybe the dyes, the um, blends, I'm not sure. But they will be back in stock sometime next week, I think. So. But you can always... Like I said, with this card, you can pick any colors that you like. This is Coastal Cabana, one of my favorites. I don't, I love the bright, crisp colors, summer, summer colors. Fall's my favorite season, but fall's not my favorite colors. <laughs> kind of strange, isn't it? And now we'll glue these together. Hi, Polly. Thanks for popping in. Hope you're doing well today. Now we're going to just glue our envelopes together. And we'll put that one, fold it up. Now, I'm going to put a block on it to hold it down while it's getting glued. And we'll do the others. I think it's almost time to replace my plates because I'm getting a lot of the texture of the plates on my die cuts but usually that's on the back part so now this one I'm going to glue the top of the envelope down also and we'll put a block on that one You can cut two of these out at a time, so that saves a little time with your die cutting. And they used your scraps, which is a, a 
great because I don't, I tend to hoard scraps, so I need to use them up. Okay, so we're letting all of those dry. Now we've got our card base of Petunia Pop, a layer of Coastal Cabana, and then basic white. And so all of that's going to be our card. So we'll start with the white here. I hope I can stamp fairly straight today. We'll see. And I'm going to use that sentiment, a little love from me to you. Let's move that back. Trying to look at the grids. I think that looks pretty good. And then we'll just put some of these cute little hearts on there. So like I said, this is simple, sweet, and cute. Now we can put our layers. didn't plan I need to put a inside piece in this but I didn't cut one so we won't worry about the inside until later see I told you I was distracted today <laughs> but I think I will let this be a thinking of you card so I'll just probably stamp the little hearts on the inside and Let me get that nice, just a thin little border around there. Okay, now I think our own little envelopes are probably sealed themselves up. Now this one we left open for a reason. We're going to put this little gerbil in there. He's going to be part of the mail. So let's see. I think I need to make room for him there. There we go. And then we'll put a little bit of glue on the bottom part. And snug him down in that envelope. Isn't he cute? Oh man, if there was a rodent in my mail, I might get upset, but he's still kind of cute. All right, so we're going to put, put our little envelopes uh, here where they can be kind of cute there. So we'll put the yellow one in the middle and we'll glue it down. The other two we'll put on with dimensionals.
I think that looks cute. Alright, I think these need to be colored with our bubble bath, these little hearts. These hearts also have a die that matches them, so we're going to, I'll show you what, what that looks like in a minute. So in this bundle, you get two of the same. And so you'll get eight, if you can run it through your machine and get eight hearts all at one time. Well, I ran it through the machine because I wanted some hearts to put on the envelopes. So I'm going to put a dab of glue on my silicone mat. And we'll could just put it right on the glass mat, but then I'd have to clean it up. So, and then we'll just dab enough to hold it down, and we'll put a little heart on our envelopes. Sealed with a kiss. That's kind of. And then we've got these here, and I think it'd be fun to sprinkle some rhinestones there. So we'll do that. And that's enough of there. And then we're going to decorate our envelope. So, uh, along with the hearts in that set, and sending love is a stamp that looks like an envelope. We'll just add that, and then we'll add some little hearts that I pulled pretty in pink, because these, I think, are pretty in pink, even though I used the bubble bath blend. I don't, must not have been thinking, but I don't. It looks fine, doesn't it? So I'll probably put something like that on the inside of my card. So how is that for quick and cute and something that just about anybody would love to get? Now, if you don't, if you like to send confetti in your envelopes, you can use all those little leftover hearts. I don't think many people like to get confetti in their envelopes, but this isn't quite like glitter, so that would that would be kind of fun if you wanted to add that into your envelope. So 20 minutes, I think that's great for super cute and quick. Um, thanks for joining me. If you are interested in any of these bundles, you can find them in the online store. There is a special um category called bundles and you'll be able to see which ones qualify for the 10 percent discount if you can't find it you can send me an email or give me a call and i'll be glad to help you thanks for joining me today bye